Hello everybody, this is the Tumble Doctor, and I wanted to create this video because I know there's a lot of you out there who are really close to landing your standing tuck, but you can't seem to stop uh, landing short as you're coming around. So I'm gonna just give you a couple tips uh, to help you uh, not land in this position where you're feeling all that pain and, and anguish in your ankles, but you're actually capable of stomping that landing. Now, warning, I wanna issue a disclaimer. I'm gonna tell you with the first two tips, it's something that a lot of people don't really want to do, but it's the most important thing for you to do, and that is conditioning. So the first one, this is called a pistol squat. Find yourself a surface, let's just say here, we're gonna create a baseline. So I'm gonna use this cheese mat. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put one foot out. I am gonna take a seat down on the cheese mat, and then I'm gonna stand up. So that's a pistol squat. Let's try the other side. Not try, excuse me, let me watch my words. We're gonna do the other side, there's no try. So I'm here. Take a seat, and then I stand up. Now, it seems like a fairly simple move, but coaches and parents, even athletes, I think you will start to find that a lot of people struggle with that. So the idea for everybody, if you're coming around in your tuck and you're landing short, if you strengthen your legs, then you're gonna go higher. Makes sense, right? I get it, you don't want to condition too bad. You want to be a savage, you gotta work to be a savage. So once we've established it on this surface, you can find yourself a lower surface. So we're gonna use this panel mat here. I'm here, once again, the foot is off. I go down and then I stand up. Once you have strengthened your legs to the point where you can do it onto this type of surface, you could open the panel mat up, get it to maybe a single there, and then you don't need to use the mat anymore. So then you're just here and then you go down and then you come up. I would say if your athlete can do Let's say two pistol squats. They have all the strength they need uh, to do their standing tuck. If your athlete can do five pistol squats on each leg, they can standing full, as far as power. So that's the first drill, pistol squats. Get your pistol squat. The second drill, you've probably seen this a lot in our videos, we say this all the time. We threaten athletes with this move all the time. This move is called a lemon squeeze, and it's one of my favorite tuck drills. Oh, and here we go, what you gotta do? You gotta lay on your back. So I'm gonna start in a hollow position. A lot of people would think of this as a crunch. Uh, I would like to say it's a little bit more sophisticated than a crunch as far as how you're using your arms and hitting the shape. So I'm gonna start in a hollow position. I'm gonna go from here, in, back up. In, back up. In, back up. In, back out. And if you see it, this is my set in my top. This is me coming into my top. So if I'm strong with this movement on the ground, then when I stand up and do a standing tuck, same move, let me squeeze. Boom, see that? So you wanna strengthen your core. The stronger your core, the faster you rotate. Let me give you one more drill. Another favorite, it's not as conditioning intensive, but it definitely requires explosive legs. We call this drill knees to feet. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna start on your knees, Hands start behind you. You're gonna swing down and back, and then you're gonna push. Toes aren't gonna be flexed. They're gonna be pointed. You're gonna push from what you think your shoelaces. So I start here, I swing back, boom. We'll do it again one more time. Tuck my shoelaces in. Boom, 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 cool. I don't tie my shoes, you see that, right? <laughs> like a lot of you cheerleaders. I'm here, I swing down and back, knees to feet. Once you have grown to be proficient in that, then you can challenge yourself a little bit by landing on an elevated surface. So I'm here, knees, feet. If that's slight work, we're gonna turn up over here on this panel. Man. I'm here, I'm gonna swing back, knees, feet. If you're a real savage, this is for all you real savages. I'm gonna start on your knees. You put your hands on top of your head. I call this arrested knees to feet. There's no swing. There's really no momentum. This is pure explosiveness. Down. Yeah. So again, those are three tips. I know uh, many of you don't want to just start focusing on conditioning. You want to get spotted over and over and over and over. I could spot you 10,000 times in your standing tuck. But if your legs aren't strong enough, if your core isn't strong enough, guess who's getting better? 
me i'm getting stronger because i'm using my arm over and over and i'm doing all the work so again hit these drills it's the tumble doctor y'all know what time it is let's see